Good morning, all. Good morning. Uh, you should have received some campaign materials in the mail last week, a brochure and a pledge card in addition to some other things. If you have not received those materials yet, please uh, let me or any member of your capital campaign team know and we will be happy to get those to you. Uh, also just a quick reminder for some of the events that will be coming up, uh, we have uh, two town hall opportunities. Uh, these are opportunities for you to talk to your capital campaign uh, team, ask any questions that you may have about uh, the capital campaign, be it logistics or uh, what the mission of the campaign is, anything of that nature, um, and also to, uh, to play some fun trivia regarding the 90-year uh, the history of, uh, of Monta Vista. So our first one of those is going to be this Tuesday, uh, May 11th at 6 p.m. And the first one is uh, going to be entirely virtual. This one is going to be on Zoom. So be sure to look out for the Zoom link uh, for, for the virtual town hall uh, in your email this week. And with those reminders, I would like to introduce uh, Betsy Knoll, who will be providing our capital campaign testimony moment this morning. Good morning. Good morning. I brought my papers to show everybody that I was going to turn my pledge card in today. <laughs> but my journey here was, was, was different than the Denmans. I grew up in Kansas and I moved out here for my job and, and I went to a different kind of church when I was younger, very conservative. This is a lot different, which is a good thing. But um, I was searching for a church home for a number of years. I found one that didn't quite work out. Um, I was kind of looking in the periphery around the college campus and I saw the bell tower and I thought, well, why not try it out one Sunday? So I came. I was welcomed wholeheartedly. People were just friendly. Um, I just felt like, okay, I'll come back. Well, and, and another thing for this church, the, the music program's amazing. The pipe organ drew me in. I just love the organ and Lana does a beautiful job. We need to hear more of that organ too. <laughs> but um, it, the music ministry just drew me in the, the friendliness. I started coming fairly regularly in 2015 because my husband got a diagnosis of dementia and I needed that support. I needed emotional and spiritual support. And you did. You came through. You helped me. And when he passed away in 17, you were there for me. I thank you, but I stayed with it. I was able to volunteer. I was able to, have to be a deacon. I, I, I became uh, involved in a lot of programs. And you know, we do so many out, great outreach programs here. It's amazing. To name a few is, I participated in the uh, Good Friday Walk Chimayo. That was a, spirit, a very spiritual time, but it was amazing. Um, the trunk or treat, which we do for the community here and the kids, it was so much fun in 2019. Uh, it was a blast. I, could, I hope we can have it again this year. The Gay Pride Parade. And then we do a lot of good things with the storehouse, the donations, the donations to immigrants. That is just the heart of the church. And in order to do these things, we need money. And that's why, and of course, our physical support and our volunteerism too. So I wanted to encourage you all to think about pledging and give what you can. And I thank you so much for listening to me ramble on. But you guys are a passion in my heart now and I thank you for being there for me when I needed it. And thank you, Betsy, for all that you do to make a lot of this happen. We appreciate you as well. All right, 